Hi, I'm Brittany Martin, and I'm one of the financial analysts at Top Shelf Models. Today, we'll be discussing the cash-on-cash return formula. You may have heard this term thrown out in conversation before when talking about a real estate investment's performance, so today I want to break down what this term really means. First, the cash-on-cash return is the total cash you get from a deal every year as a percentage of the total cash you invested. So this formula for cash on cash is simply the pre-tax cash flow divided by the total cash invested. The pre-tax cash flow is calculated by taking revenues minus any expenses and debt service. The total cash invested is the equity invested into the investment or the peak invested equity. Since the cash on cash return is such a common investment metric our customers want to see, we have the cash on cash formula in all of our models on the model outputs tab in the annual cash flow summary section. I have one of our storage development models open to additionally demonstrate this calculation. When I click into the cell, you can see that the numerator in the formula is taking the NOI plus subtracting out any debt service, which is the principal and interest on any loans outstanding in the year. The denominator is referencing the monthly cash flow tab and is referring to the peak levered equity. As you can see, monthly cash flow D186 is referring to this cell. This consists of any down payment of equity at closing as well as any closing costs. So you can see that the year zero, which is also month zero, the cash on cash return is 0%. It is then goes down to a negative 9.4 and a negative 14.4. This is due to be, there being no cash flows during construction, yet they're having to pay interest expense. The cash on cash return is then bumped up to an 8.3, a 14.9, and a 15.3 once we are cash flowing. We typically view a good cash on cash return for investors to be at least 8%, but it all depends on the risk of the investment, the return profile of the investor, and even the type of investment. Hopefully, you now feel more comfortable in knowing what the cash on cash return metric is. Thank you so much for listening to my video today. You can check out our website at tsmfinancialmodels.com and learn more finance and real estate information on our blog, which we update every week. You can also purchase this model and many other real estate models using our custom model builder that are sure to meet your financial modeling needs. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks so much.